Um, actually, before I started my um, career, academic career in gender studies, I was in an entirely different industry. I was in the hospitality industry, worked actually in a few places, and then, yeah, like you just feel the inequalities, and I wasn't able to name them and to express what I was feeling. And yeah, I started inquiring randomly and eventually it led me to gender studies. I think our course in the Center for Gender Studies um, does not make any generalization about gender. So um, we also look beyond uh, questions of uh, identity and political representation. And uh, we really try to look at gender in a more structural way. Um, and our curriculum really um, goes hand in hand with SOAS overall decolonial approach. So it's really, um, you know, given voice uh, to scholars, communities, uh, and our students, right? Uh, whose voices are not necessarily, um, yeah, in the mainstream. Well, I wouldn't say there's such a thing as a typical student. <laughs> However, um, I think there's something very special about students who pursue gender studies. Everyone has a story to tell. Um, everyone has a story to relate. Um, we actually have great conversation in class, you know, like linking the outside world with what we read. Uh, many of our students um, uh, pursue academic studies after uh, a while. And um, yeah, there's really like, since it's a very activism driven kind of discipline, um, we usually have you know, nice networks for support, for peer teaching, for peer support, etc., etc. And yeah, I would say, uh, yeah, this is what makes uh, our students special. Well, um, I think I would give them the advice that when I first came to SOAS in 2011, an MA student who was doing the gender studies course gave me. Um, actually, she uh, likened the course and the whole academic year to a train because the postgraduate um, you know, program in the UK goes really, really fast. So it's really important to be able to get on the train on board because you do not want to be you know, running behind it. But hopefully, I mean, between us course conveners, you know, the, you, your peers in the class your peers at SOAS and the different um, support system that SOAS um, offers, it should be okay. Everyone gets on the train in general. I consider myself uh, a feminist, Middle Eastern, uh, gender studies uh, researcher. I'm really interested in, you know, the whole dynamics of gender within the Middle East. Um, Yes, a focus on women's rights, but I also uh, want to look at, you know, the, the relationships between women and men. So uh, I'm not really into, um, uh, you know, binar binarizing, let's say, men, you know, and women separately. Um, I'm very interested in uh, areas related to emotions and affect. So, um, for example, my research, current research, is how young people in Lebanon uh, negotiate between their love feelings and the social category of sect. Um, so it's really trying to link, um, to give voice really to, to, to emotions, right? Uh, which are often left out uh, as not enough credible uh, scientific uh, knowledge.